In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Blogger as an educational tool in the classroom. Blogger is exactly what it sounds like. It is an online blog website. It's an online journal. I use it educationally. I use it to post my opinions on certain discussions I have currently in my graduate classes um, through SNHU. But I've also used it as a tool for my students to use for certain projects. And throughout this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can do that. The first step you want to do is you want to go to your internet browser and I highly recommend using Google for your browser for this because Blogger will require you to have a Google account and to sign up for one it's free. Um, I use Google. We are a Google school where I'm currently at so Google is just the natural go-to for me. I'm already logged in here has my name up here at the top hand, the right corner over here, the top right. Has my Gmail images. It also has a grid of nine squares. And I'm going to want to click on that. This brings me up to my top nine Google apps that I use or Google sites that I use. Gmail, Google Sites, Blogger, the search engine, Google Play, Google Drive you have to create the nine that you you have to put your nine here you have to pick which ones you want to do so i have blogger as one of my top nine but it it may not automatically show up here if that's the case and it does not automatically show up there you want to click on more which gives you even more google things and then even click on even more from google and you can scroll down and it breaks everything up by the web mobile business media social all that stuff so I'm just going to go ahead because blog is right down here in the social. I'm just going to click on it. And for me, because I have a Google account, I'm already logged into my Google account. It brings me right up to my blogs. And I have several different ones because I've used this blog for several different college courses. And I've also used it for my classroom, which is why I have a journal of FDR here because it was something we were doing something from EDU 641. I also have something from my current class, EDU 642. And this is my homepage on blog when I sign in to Blogger. You will have to sign up for an account on that, but it's free and I highly recommend it. It tells you lots of things. So it tells you who it is. If you already have blogs with it, it's already um, listed, it lists all of your blog. If you want to create a new blog, you would just click on new blog and you'd have to title your blog and come up with your address and it usually gives you examples. So for an idea I might use If I was doing a project, say I was researching a famous president, and one of my assignments would be to write a journal from the perspective of that person, I would create a blog. And I've done this actually with a World War II project that I had my students do this year. They had to create a blog or an online journal about how it was during World War II for either a soldier or a survivor. Um, or, or somebody in one of the concentration camps or one of the presidents involved or one of the foreign leaders involved in the war and they had to take it and pretend like they were that person in that time. So they had to create a new blog and so for I'm just going to use Journal of President Kennedy as an example. It will give me my blog address. You have to type it in so I would probably put Kennedy dot blocks and it as you're typing in it gives you an idea so you could just click on that and see this blog ad address is actually not available so I'd have to go in and I'd have to put in another number and so I picked 81 because I was born in 1981 and it says this blog address is available so that would be a good address for the blog and it gives you 
now the next step, it gives you all these templates down here. And I want to go through and I want to choose the different templates in my... You can go from simple to dynamic to I like travel myself. And you would go to create blog. And it's creating my blog for me. You can also find a domain name for your blog and connect it instantly. I don't usually do that. And it gives you different um, overviews and different rules because Blogger can be used all the time. This is my homepage now from this new blog that I have created. So it says overview. If I want to go to posts, it'll show that I have not done a new post yet. Pages, there's not a new page, any comments, Google stats, etc. It also, if you want to create a new post, it just goes ahead and it allows you to click on new post. So I'm just going to do that. And it brings you to the post page. And this is where you can give your post a title and then you can compose your post. Once you do that, you can click, I would click save. That's what I would do because that way you would always have a record of it. And you should probably save every so often, especially if your blog is rather long, which is fine. You can make it as long as you want, but it's important to click the save button whenever you're doing that. And when I would be done with typing up my blog, let's see, let's title this So I'm just typing something. Um, I chose the back pain because I know President Kennedy had a lot of back issues. So then I would go and say I was done publishing it. You can share it on Google Plus. If it's Google Plus is something you have, it's not something I have, so I just always hit cancel. And then it brings you to back to your overview page and since you have one post. And I want to click up at the very top here and click on view blog so I can see it. That way when I share this address with others, everyone can see it as well and this is kind of like the travel page and I I particularly like this it's the travel template and if somebody wanted to make a comment they could just click on comments and click on there or they can go back to home which brings you right back here comments there are no comments I could leave a comment if I wanted to and then when I was done with this I could also post it. I could email it or post it on Twitter or Facebook. That's a good way to share as well. But I don't have any comments to leave, so I'm going to click out of this. And I'm going to go ahead and click my back button. Mm -hmm. And it brings me right back. As I've said before, I like Blogger a lot. It allows me to use it. It's a good web tool to use for projects for students and allows them to be creative. Um, sometimes maybe they'll even sign up for a Blogger because it's a free thing. They can sign up for a Blogger um, and use it personally. It's a really nice way to also keep parents up to date on things. Um, if you want to go more into detail rather than say Twitter Twitter's really nice. Twitter's just really short. And if you want parents to have more detail on things, blogging would be a good web tool to use. So I highly recommend that you use it in your classroom and you can have a lot of fun creating things with your students.